Welcome to Electron Online. With electricity and magnetism, it's often more convenient to express things in cylindrical coordinates instead of Cartesian coordinates. And later on, we'll see that sometimes it's even better to use spherical coordinates. But first, let's concentrate on cylindrical coordinates. And you can see that I've drawn a cylinder here about the XYZ coordinate system. And notice that whenever we're dealing with objects that look like cylinders, cylindrical coordinates are often the best thing to use. Let's pick an arbitrary point in space. So I have the origin right here. I draw my unit vector, not my unit vector, but my position vector to this point right there. And that's the point of concern. Notice the three variables that we have. We have rho, phi, and z. What do they mean? Well, rho represents the distance from the z-axis to the point. So from here to here, that distance here is rho. Notice when I project that onto the xy plane, I have the rho down here as well. So that's simply the distance from the z-axis to the point in space. Phi is an angle that references from the x-axis towards the y-axis and on around like this. So if I go around in this circle, starting from the x-axis, when I draw a line from the z-axis to the point P, how big of an angle is that from the x-axis to the, to the line that goes from zero to the point along the xy plane. That angle is considered the angle phi. And finally, the third coordinate, z, is the distance from the xy plane in the vertical direction to the point of interest. That would be this distance right here. That's a z distance. So you can see rho is this, phi is this angle, and z is this distance right there. And that means that this point can then be expressed in terms of rho, phi, and z. Relating that to the Cartesian coordinate system, to the xyz coordinate system, you can see that rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared because this is simply a triangle. This here would be x, this here would be y, this here would be the hypotenuse rho. So rho squared equals x squared plus y squared. And maybe I should put x over here. So this could be considered x, this could be considered y. And there's your right triangle right there. And there's the angle phi. Then you can solve for rho. Rho is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Relating the tangent or relating the angle phi to x and y, we can simply take the tangent of the angle. The tangent of the angle is, defined, is, is determined or defined by the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. The opposite side to the angle is y. The adjacent side here is x. So therefore, the tangent of phi is y over x. And theta can then be defined as the arctangent of y over x. Finally, we also want to be able to convert from the, or we want to be able to express x and y in terms of the cylindrical coordinates. And if you look at x here, x can be defined as the hypotenuse rho times the cosine of the angle because the cosine represents the adjacent side. So x can be defined as rho, the distance from the z-axis to the point, times the cosine of phi. And then y, y is the opposite side to the angle, therefore y can be defined as the hypotenuse rho times the sine of the angle phi. And that's how we go back and forth between Cartesian and cylindrical coordinates. Now we also want to talk about the unit vectors. The unit vectors in the Cartesian coordinate system is x hat, y hat, and z hat, or i, j, and k as we know it. So what are the unit vectors and what are the directions of the unit ve vectors in cylindrical coordinates? Well, first of all, the unit vector for rho is simply straight out in this direction. So again, it goes from the z-axis to the point and then we draw a unit vector in this direction and this is then known as the rho unit vector. The unit vector for phi is a little bit confusing. You say, well, wait a minute, phi is an angle. How can an angle have a unit vector? But relative to point P, if we want to represent the unit vector for phi, notice that if we go around the circle using our right hand rule and we curl our fingers this way, the direction of phi would be in the direction along the line here, along the circle. And therefore, we can draw the unit vector for phi in this direction. This is the unit vector phi. And finally, we want to draw the unit vector in the direction of the z-axis. Well, relative to this point, the z-axis is in this direction, therefore the unit vector in z would be straight up or parallel to the z-axis. And let's draw that here. Well, not quite straight up, is it? Let me try that again. There we go. 
a little bit better, there's my unit vector in the z direction. So notice, any point p can be defined with the three coordinates, rho, phi, and z, and we can have the unit vectors defined as rho unit vector going straight out, phi unit vector going along the circle or curve the, here, and the z unit vector straight up from the point along the z-axis. So that's the definition of the cylindrical coordinate system, and then we'll show you a few more uh, videos that will show you a little bit more detail of how to operate with cylindrical coordinates. And that's how it's done.